No, have a great day at work. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, bye. This is my Evan Rude two horsepower, two stroke engine. My wife just went to work, so I'm gonna put it on the counter. I wouldn't do that when she was home. One of the neat things about these motors is they have an integrated gas tank. If you notice, this one actually, yeah, it has no clutch or anything. It basically, when you start it up, it's, it's in gear and you spin the motor around to be able to go in reverse. Pretty simple, straightforward controls. Heck, this one only has one thing to turn to, uh, to clamp it on your transom. Doesn't weigh much at all. I mean, it's just a simple, lightweight, little basic motor for a dinghy or a trolling motor or, you know, small 12-foot boat like mine. There's not much to these. However, it is a two-stroke. So, you know, you're having to mix your gas and your oil, and it's an old motor. So it probably needs a couple of seals and gaskets and things. Even if I get it running, it's probably going to have a few, uh, few issues here and there that might need to be addressed once it's running. For some of you who've watched some of my other videos, you've probably seen this engine in the background. The story of how I came about this engine and why it's still here in the shape that it's in. I'll cover that later in this video if you're interested. What I want to talk about is, is it worth it? to do anything with one of these motors if they're not running. Is it worth the trouble to fix them up? A lot of people like these, and I've gone into plenty of people's garages where they have some really cool old outboards hanging up in the rafters or on the wall or whatever is art, and, and that's fine. That's always an option. I certainly could do that with this outboard motor. But is it worth putting some time and money into this to get it running? Well, what's interesting is the value of these in running condition is anywhere from about $200 to $400. That seems to be what one of these small horsepower, old two-stroke outboard motors is worth. You can buy a brand new two and a half horsepower, four stroke Suzuki outboard for a little over $800. Matter of fact, I made a video about some of the smallest horsepower cheap outboards that you can buy, and there are several available that are under $1,000. So you take a motor like this. I think I paid about $175 for this one, and it doesn't run. These are very basic motors, so when they don't run, sometimes they only need a couple of things. Well, there's sort of a little laundry list of things that you should and need to buy for it. You would want to put in a new water pump impeller, which I assume is located either you know, down here or up here. You'd want to rebuild the carburetor, probably get a new set of points and condenser for it, new spark plug, maybe a new spark plug wire, replace this fuel hose here, and uh, probably a new seal for down here. I ran the numbers for that, and we're looking at like $140 just to buy those parts. So if I paid $175 for this engine, and I put another $140 into it, we're over $300. You still have a 50-year-old two-stroke outboard with unknown reliability that might not start great or run perfect or whatever. You know, might be a little worn out. So you might have that kind of money in something and you can't even really sell it for that, for what you have into it. It's just not worth it. And there's no telling that this is going to be a reliable, good motor. But on the flip side, when you think about it, if you have $350 in an engine like this versus $850 for a new one, I mean, that's $500 difference. That's $500 in your pocket that you can go, you know, buy some other cool gear with, you know, maybe some lures or some bait or, you know, some rod holders for your boat. So one of the other challenges with these is that 
An old two-stroke motor like this, there are some areas of the country and in other countries where you can't run these anymore. You're not allowed to run a two-stroke outboard. And if you're not allowed to run a two-stroke outboard, then really what's the sense of getting it running? I mean, unless you're getting it running just to sell it. But if you're getting it running to sell and you end up with over $300 into it and the market's only burying $200 or $250 for these, you're losing money on it. So you're better off just hanging it up on the wall. And with an old motor like this, one of the questions people have is, is it hard to get parts for these? Well, they made lots of these motors and they made them for a very long time. And no, it's not hard to get parts for these. Uh, a lot of the tune-up parts and, and, and wear items are pretty easily accessible. And even though the total for the things that I'm looking at is over $100, that, that's pretty cool. That's, that's not very expensive in the, in, the, in the grand scheme of things. So if you had $175 in a motor like this, what would you do? Would you fix it up? Or would you just sell it? Or just hang it on the wall? Put that down in the comments below. So for those of you curious as to how I actually came about this motor, last year when I bought my John boat and I bought my V-Hull boat, I needed a small outboard to be able to run on them. Both of those boats had questionable transoms and were pretty small boats, so I wanted to start with something really small horsepower. At that time, there wasn't a lot for sale locally. It was the winter. This one popped up as a non-running motor, and it was not too far away, so I drove probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes to go pick this up. Checked it out a little bit just to make sure that, you know, it wasn't seized up and looked like everything was kind of here. And I bought it, uh, bringing it home with the intention to start working on it. First thing I did was I uh, unscrewed this screw right here on the top, which any of you know, who know about these motors know that taking this screw off actually <laughs> releases the spring for this and makes it so that you can't pull start the motor. I thought it would pull the top cover off, so I learned that lesson immediately. And that's as far as I got with it. Uh, once I had popped that apart, I realized I had to put that back together uh, and went and watched a video about how to put it back together. I saw right down the road from me a 2004 Mercury two-stroke 2.5 horsepower literally a few blocks from me, running for $300, and I jumped on that. And I bought that motor, brought it home, and, you know, have made several videos with it and have been running it ever since. The whole time, this one's just been sitting in my garage waiting for the time for me to start working on it. So let me know what you think I should do with this motor. Should I hang it on the wall, should I sell it, or should I try to get it running again? And also, you might want to check out this video right here, because this one is one that you should be watching next.